Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to draw the involute of a hexagon and also how to draw the tangent and normal to the involute of a hexagon. So before we get into this video, please if you are new to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free on your end, it won't cost you anything to click uh, to subscribe. So just go ahead now and click on the subscribe button below. Uh, somewhere at the lo lower right of your screen, you see the uh, option of subscribing there. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And let me know in the comment section below if you have just subscribed through this video. Alright, so now let's get into this video proper. The involute of the hexagon. Now, the first thing we are going to be doing is to draw the hexagon itself. So let's go ahead and draw the hexagon. And in drawing this hexagon, I'm going to be using a side of 2 cm. That's 20 mm. So there are different approach, uh, different ways you can draw a hexagon. But I'm going to be using that of a circle. So let me. So since I'm using that of a circle method, I'm going to make in my circle faint. So if you check our playlist on technical and the drawing drawing, uh, there are a lot of videos there that you know show different method of drawing hexagon. Okay. So I just drew a diameter. On the circle don't forget the circle i'm using a radius of two centimeter which is the length of the side of the hexagon so what i've just done here is from both end of the diameter on the circumference of the circle with the same length of two centimeter i'll just draw an arc on the circumference of the circle so where that circumference is touching it i would note those points where this arc is touching the circumference. So I'm going to link them together to form the sides of the hexagon. So you can see it's pretty much very easy. It's a very easy method, especially if you are working with a very small length, like the two centimeter I'm working with. So this, uh, using this method to draw your hexagon, it won't require your protractor, just your compass is enough. So you can see it's only um, the hexagon itself that I'm drawing with an outline. That is a bold line. So the circle and the arcs, I just, I just use faint line. So now we already have the hexagon. So let me just, remember this is A, B, C, D, E, and then F. So the next thing you are going to do after you have your hexagon is to extend. So line F, A, you extend it like this. So just follow along like this with a faint line. So line EF, you are going to do the same thing. So line DE. Then line CD. Then line BC. And then line AB. So you are going to extend line AB to the right. And this is what you are going to be having. So the next thing we are going to bring in our compass, so with the length of 2 cm, which is the length of AB. So now we have started drawing, now we want to start with the involute itself. So we are going to be having something like this. So you can see from here to here. So now we are going to go to point F now. So from point F, you are going to adjust it to where you stop, where we stop here. So you can as well measure it, that would be 2 times the length of AB. So we pick it from point F. So, I hope you can see it. So now we've done with point F, now we go to point E. So we are going to repeat the same thing. So that is it from point E. So now from point D. 
so you just keep doing it like this just follow along and if you are finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up so click on that thumbs up button that thumbs up button like this give it a thumbs up so this is from point D now we are going to point C So then the next one is what from point B. So if you are following, so from point B. So it's just increasing two cent uh, two centimeter. So from point B, you extend it to where we stop, and then I think this is the last side. And now we have our involute. You can see looking very perfect. So let's quickly do some indication here. So the length here is two centimeter. So that means we, what we are going to be having from this point B to point, uh, let's call this point G. To point G, it will be that is the length two centimeter times one, two, three, four, five, six times six times six. So that will be two centimeter times six. That will be twelve centimeter. So if you bring in your ruler and you're measuring. It's we are going to be having uh, 12 centimeter. So if you are using a different length for your for the side of your hexagon, you are not. Let's say if your the side is um, four centimeter or five centimeter. Let's say you are using five centimeter for your hexagon. Then the length from point B to point G would be five times six, which would be 30 centimeter. So now we already have the involute. This that we are having here itself represents the involute. The involute of the hexagon involute of the hexagon so now let's go ahead to draw the tangent and the normal so let's say we are asked to draw a tangent and the normal from this point or on this point on the involute on this point so now the first thing we are going to draw is the normal so let's draw the normal so in drawing the normal from that point we are just going to draw it to point B so this line that I've just drawn represents the normal so now if we know our normal, then it will be very easy for us to draw our tangent because the tangent and the normal, they are perpendicular to each other. That means they are at angle 90 to each other. So from this point, we bring in our protractor and measure 90 degrees. So make sure your protractor is properly placed. That's why I'm taking my time. So 90 degrees, this is it. So I've noted the point for 90 degrees, which is here. So this represents, so what we have in here is a tangent, tangent. So this is how you go ahead to draw the involute of the hexagon and draw the normal and the tangent. Also if you are watching this video, I know you also want to know how to draw the involute of a square, a triangle, a circle, a pentagon. I will leave the link to those videos in the description of this particular video. So when you check it, you will see the videos of how to uh, draw the involute of a square, triangle, circle and their tangents. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are still yet to subscribe, please, please, it's absolutely free, it won't cost you anything. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy. Also check out our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. Uh, there are a lot of videos there that will be of help to you. And then, uh, before you go, before I, uh, towards the end of this video, one of these videos that is showing the involute of any of this shape, it will be coming up immediately after this video. So, you can stick around to watch that video. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in another video. Thank you.